I mean, the last few nights have been just a really good team effort all around, top to bottom, D forwards, goalies. It's been, uh, been nice to see. I think maybe the break does well. We come back and, I mean, even the Florida game, we, we probably should have won it. We probably lost it for ourselves. But other than that, we've been playing really good hockey. And, um, good feeling. The, the rink's buzzing and guys are excited and happy. It's a good feeling. Brian, the guys you're playing with right now, you don't have a whole lot of experience with them. Why do you think it's been clicking so well this quickly? Well, I played with Goody a little bit this year and Alafi a little bit last year, so there's a little bit of familiarity, but honestly, they're very easy to play with. Like, Goodrow just does all the right things all over the ice. He's, uh, he's so responsible. He's such an underrated player. Like, the way he sees the game and he reads the play, it's, it's he got a great stick. He breaks up a lot of plays, and he's got underrated skill. And obviously, Laffy, I mean, you see the playmaking tonight and the ability. And, um, you know, he, he made so many great plays tonight that could have resulted in some more points and, and stuff for himself. But... Um, you know, just a little bit of confidence, a little bit of swagger, I think, for those guys. And, and uh, you know, obviously everyone needs to step up a little bit in Brad's absence. So um, guys have been doing a good job. Obviously, last, last game it was Mika's line, and tonight our line had a good night. So it's, it's a good feeling. Could you describe what you saw in that first goal when you go in and take the puck away from the goal? Yeah, I just uh, wanted Lindy to dump it in, and uh, I just beat the goalie to the trapezoid. I knew he couldn't get to the other side of the, the, the line there, or else it would have been a penalty. So I just tried to beat him to that line. and. Um, Laffy was screaming for it, so credit to him for calling for it, and, um, and he buried it too. I mean, that's an underrated shot coming in on your wrong side. It's not easy to get that upstairs, and, and he did. So, um, yeah, obviously a good goal, and happy for Laffy, I think. Um, you know, he's such a happy kid and works so hard, and um, you want to see him get rewarded as much as possible, and tonight was a great night for him. Turk said that he seems really confident right now. Can you sense that? Do you guys for sure, that? yeah. And like he wants the puck, which is a good thing. You know, he's always calling for it, or he's talking about you know where to go. And um, even late in the game, he was like looking for looking for plays, trying to get open. And he's trying, he's finding those areas a little bit better right now. So um, yeah, credit to him. He's a good player. Obviously, we all know what he can do. Um, he's he's the developing young player in the NHL, which is a hard league, and he's done a great job of staying with it and working hard. And um, like I said, it's nice to see him get rewarded because. Um, you know, I know as a young guy, it can be a little frustrating at times, but for him to have a, a big night tonight, and he played great last game too. He was real good, so um, it's nice to see those guys step up. You guys give up just one goal in the last two games, just defensively. What do you say from the team? I don't know if it's like any secret recipe. I think it's just everyone buying in. I think it's our D playing hard, our goalie's been good, our forwards not turning the puck over as much, um, just trying to protect the middle of the ice. I know it's all cliche things, but it's it's kind of true. And um, obviously, with a team like they have, it's good to hold them to one and. Um, you know, we've got great goalies, we've got a great decor, and when we play together as a team, I think you're seeing the results of what can happen. Georgie actually just said to me, he noticed maybe this year, as compared to last season, just everyone's sacrificing on the ice, everyone on the ice, not just the D pairings. Do you notice that? Does that feel a little bit yeah. different? Yeah, I don't think guys weren't doing it in the past. I think it's more just guys are buying in. Like I said it in the beginning of the year, there just seems to be a real, like, team first attitude and it's all it's all about that even on the bench I mean guys are holding each other accountable um, I think guys understand what's expected of them now and um, what works and um, and we're going out and doing it and uh, it doesn't always have to be Turk yelling at us I think it's the, some of the older guys um, taking control and understanding what what it takes to be successful and um, you know that's what it takes to win in this league and we've got some guys that have been in in those situations before like Goody and some guys that have been around and they know how it's done and they're leading the way. Have you noticed the vibe in Camp Ligard in these past few games as well? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, maybe people are just happy it's the holidays and the new year too. But uh, no, I think especially uh, the, the Tampa game, I think that was a great atmosphere. And then coming into the game tonight, it was um, usually on, on a weekday during the anthem. Sometimes it's uh, not as full, but it was pretty full tonight for the anthem. I noticed that. So it's a good feeling when uh, you know their, their team's playing well and we're winning for them and they're giving us a great response. I mean... I think they're starting to realize that our team's finding ways to win and, and they're appreciating sometimes a good four check or a good offensive shift and um, that's a good sign. It's not all just about the goals, it's everyone getting contributions and um, everyone's been chipping in the last few weeks which has been nice.